All right, guys, welcome back into another NBA DFS video. Got a pretty nice 10-game slate. I'm going to be going over the picks for both DraftKings and FanDuel. Father requested that we do some FanDuel content, so we're going to get that out there for you. Uh, we're going to start off with the DraftKings uh, core plays here. All right, so we're going to start off. I'm just going to go over the base build for my core plays. You can find the rest of the plays in the article in the description below on this YouTube video. Um, but let's start off with Brad Wanamaker. Now, Kyrie Irving's been ruled out. And the last two games that Kyrie Irving has sat, he has seen 20 minutes, and then he's averaging uh, 20 over 22 DK points in those two games. So I think he's going to be a nice solid option for us. I think he's going to get around 20 DK points. Now Terry Rozier, we just know to target him when Kyrie Irving's out. Um, in the last five games that Kyrie Irving has sat, he's averaging 30 DK points per game. I think it's a safe play to say as he's going to at least hit value. And by hitting value, I mean he's going to at least get 5x. So those two plays, I think, they're going to be at least a 7x combined total value play for you. So it's a really nice base for us. And then we can just roll with Drew Holiday. He had over 50 DK points in this matchup the first time that they played. It's a really soft matchup with the guards. Um, he did see you know a little bit more boost in his DK points with Anthony Davis off, but he's already averaging 43 DK points per game. I would still probably plug and play him even if Anthony Davis was playing. But the guy that I'm going to be targeting with Drew Holiday, a nice little stack again, is going to be Julius Randle here. Obviously, um, without Anthony Davis, he does see a nice boost there. Um, his per 36 game average or per 36 minute average is 52 DK points. So you know the more minutes he gets, the more he's going to produce. And his Cantor's play that I really do like. Um, uh, Luke Cornett has been ruled out, and so obviously I just think that Ennis Cantor is going to be the one that's seeing the most minutes. Uh, boost wise and anytime this guy gets minutes he's producing he's averaging um, around 25 minutes per game and with that 25 minutes he's averaging 32 DK points per game so that's really not too bad I'm definitely gonna be rock rocking and rolling with him now if he doesn't get there it's gonna be because Mitchell Robinson got some extra runs so I might have some GPP um, lineups with Mitchell Robinson Julio Okafor's a play that you know he's always been a points per minute play so if the minutes are gonna be there uh, we're just going to lock and load him. Now, if we knew that, I was going to get 35 minutes again. He would just be an instant lock. And I'd probably project him for that 40 uh, output again. But we just don't know if the minutes are going to be there. Um, so he can't be a lock play, but I'm definitely going to have a higher um, ownership to him, exposure to him, just because I'm hoping that the minutes are there again. Robin Lopez, not a horrible option. You've seen in his last three games he started. Not a horrible output in two of the games. He went for over 20 DK points. He's going against the Atlanta Hawks, who, you know, they're not the best against center, so I can definitely see him getting there tonight. And then also you can kind of run it back uh, with Deadman or, you know, maybe someone like John Collins on the other side. But Tobias Harris is a play that I don't really mind. He really struggled in his last game. He went one for nine shooting, but he still had 29 DK points with that. So if he gets a few of those shots to drop, he'll easily hit value. All right, let's get into the FanDuel plays. They're going to be more the same. But there are also going to be some different ones. So obviously I'm going to be rocking and rolling with uh, Terry Rozier and uh, Wanamaker. But I also think um, that Jamal Murray, I think he's just a little bit too cheap. Uh, someone we can definitely target at that price point. Other than that, there's not that many options down here that I want to go with. Um, so let's get into the shooting guard spot. Now you can definitely play uh, James Harden if you want to. Um, I just don't know if he's going to get there. His usage does go down. Uh, with Eric Gordon being back on the court. But I can definitely see if you want to play him. I'm going to be playing uh, Jalen Brown. He's averaged over uh, 25 DK points per game in uh, games that Kyrie Irving has set. Now, it's not the best, and I do think he's only going to get around there. His usage does go up uh, 5% as well with Kyrie Irving off the court, so it's not a horrible option. I do think uh, Nikolo Mirotic, uh, he is a little bit too cheap across the industry. So this is a play that we can really go out and target, especially on FanDuel, where he's just a little bit cheaper. I do think he'll get at least 30 DK points. We know he's the upside to get um, 45 DK points tonight on this slate. Should be a pretty good one. Gerald Garen for the Houston Rockets. He's a little bit too cheap, too, uh, for his recent production. And just he should at least get 25 DK points. He's getting the minutes. The production should be there. Other than that, there's not that many plays that I like. I always feel like I'm overpaying for FanDuel. I try to find the nice value plays that make it a nice, safe, easy option. Now, Julius Randle, I'm just going to plug and play him. Uh, that's not priced up enough on FanDuel, and he should at least definitely hit value at that price point. And then we're just rolling down. You can maybe go with someone like Bobby Portis on FanDuel if you want to there. I'm not going to go that route. I'm going to try to see what I can fit down here. There's not really much that I like down there. You probably have to pay up for someone like LaMarcus Aldridge or Blake Griffin. 
Now on FanDuel, I really like going with someone like either Robin Lopez, who I'm going to play in this video, or you could go with someone like Aaron Baines. That game might blow up, but Aaron Baines should be able to dominate the Cleveland Cavaliers and Ante Zizic. Um, I do like Ante Zizic as an option on Yahoo if you're playing on Yahoo. He's only $17 on Yahoo, and anytime you can get someone that potentially doubles their salary on Yahoo, that's something that you want to roll with, so he's not a horrible option there. And then this is just trying to fill it in. I try to get uh, Tobias in here, and then it's just seeing which player I like at the end of it. And we fit in Jason Tatum on this build, so not a horrible build. I could definitely see this one cashing. I'll tweak it a little bit as the day goes on. I'll be posting that lineup on the Patreon page. All right, guys, that's all I have for you on today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please give me that like and subscribe. Comment in the comment section your favorite play. And let's keep cashing.